Big isn't always better. I mean, you're growing hella leaf, you're growing hella stock, you're growing hella, you know, like these large calls, like oh, yeah. indoor cannabis. It's really, I, I, and I'll, and I, and I don't bring this up very often, but when I do, I'm really, I'm serious about this. You know, smaller plants right. produce right. higher right. quality cannabis, 100%. and it's like because you're not spending all of that time growing all that biomass. Like, so when people think indoor of quality, right? Most indoors grow with smaller plants, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? It's smaller plants. So you, so most of that intensity is happening. You know, it's, not, it's 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 bypassing these giant leaves and these huge stalks. Yeah, these, these, these are like huge colas that colas most of the bottom, the yeah. middle is all like yeah. super preemie yep. and like lime and like I mean, yep. yeah, it's, exactly. It's so the different approaches. Yep, different approaches. But 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 so so it's you know plant later. You know, plant a little bit later. You know, it's like the, you more don't need you don't need more of them. Plant later. That's that's a that's that's a responsible agriculture. So I mean, it's like there are different methods, right? Now that we're not now that we're not chained to plant count, you know, we have a whole new world is is ahead of us in farming. Yeah, and you know, and and that's the thing too. It's like commercial weed will be a thing. You know, there there is going to be a market for. You know, bubble gum, like artificial, like strawberry shortcake right. flavored distillate uh, that people are gonna get through pens. Yeah, the the like Behringer that. White Zin of, of, of cannabis, you know. And I mean, you know, and so and the, 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 the Schlitz, you know, the Mad Dog 2020. You know, I mean, that's gonna happen. It's gonna be there. But the thing is, is I, I think, um, yeah, again, it's like all this people that have been doing this all their life. It's like you already have been operating at the top five percent of herb in the nation. Yeah. You know, if you figured this out and you take pride in it, it's like, yeah, as long as you just don't like compromise your integrity and your morals and, and and you represent the plant to the highest of its purpose and integrity, it's gonna come over back on you like tenfold in success, you know, while so many people in this like race to the gold rush, you know, are gonna be just like it's a race to the bottom. imploding, dude. The people are just gonna be like landmining themselves because they you know, they don't know how to take care of this plant and all the intricacies of the supply chain management stuff of that are gonna get you in trouble with like things like pesticides or things like you know, and so, so you know, I think or like things like lying, things like lying, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. lying isn't good for growing. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't lie to me, man. Tell me the truth. Like, you've never done this before. Or, yeah, like, you know, you're lying saying? to your like, plants. Like, and you yeah, got problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you're lying to your, your you're lying to your people. You're lying to anybody. It's like yeah. it's like it's not gonna work out. It just doesn't work out. Like, tell me you can't do it. Don't tell me you can, and then don't. Right. Yeah. That, that that that's okay. that's the other big thing, you know. It's like because a lot of these guys are telling these other guys that they can do shit that they can't, you know. They're like, oh yeah, I can run a ten thousand square foot greenhouse well, facility. Well, dude, that ego, bro, and that's dude, and then, yeah, and then, and then you get somebody to back you, and you and you and that's growing a ten hundred times bigger than you ever grown. Yeah. It's like, dude, yep. do you know how to do that without using pesticides? Really? Are you gonna take every clone and methodically and preventatively treat it with organic things from the time? It's like, or are you gonna get some fucking infestation that's gonna wipe your shit yep. out? You know. So last question. Because you're going, but so so when do you actually plant? Like when? Because like, are, are your plants kind of that size or this size or somewhere in between the two? Like when you're well, harvesting? Well, I mean, oh, when I'm harvesting, probably somewhere around that size. Okay. Minus the pot, you know, um, maybe you know, maybe a little bit smaller. I like to, my stuff to be around head high, you know, okay. about head high. I mean, last year it got a little big. I had stuff that was like around 12 feet, and I just was that because you planted it earlier? No, it was just because my soil is just, just fucking so good, just just dominating. Charged. It's just charged. It is like okay. So, but when when do you plant outdoors? Um, you know, I usually plant, you know, my seeds like May 15th and my clones June 15th. Okay. So and, like, and, and when do you see other people? Like, what's the typical outdoor person up north doing? I mean, you know, you have you have some people that wrap their tomato cages in Christmas lights and plant in March. Yeah. You know, <laughs> heavily mulch and plant in March and just like Christmas light them all or do, dome greenhouse them with a little you know utility light in there. Um, you know, in March, I'd say May for seed, June for clone is about average because it goes with the photo cycle. Yeah. Okay. Um, you don't want to tweak the clones out. Seeds don't usually pop into flower as easy as clones do. You put a clone out June first, you'll you know, and it's say it's an indica variety, you 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 stand a chance of throwing it into flower. Sativas less often because they'll they'll they go a lot longer in the season. They have a much longer veg time. Right. But you know, so 
it, it really depends on the strain and what farm, you know. But but those are two good. You know. But but it's interesting. One of the things from you is you're a person. I don't go, you know, these two hundred pound pound plants. I you're, you're you're almost doing like something that you've seen indoor showing success in, but doing it possibly even better outdoors. Yeah. Which gets to sort of market perception of oh, indoor is better. Well, maybe outdoor done this way. Oh man, would be yeah. The best. See yeah. herb grown like greenhouse, like you know, the, it's just some of the devs and greenhouse you see these days is like it's markedly higher quality than indoor. Yeah. Like, and it's amazing because it's like yeah. most people have never seen that quality of you know. But I'm talking herb, about my you know? full season. My That's full why terms. my full terms. I'm doing like my full terms. I grow really small. Dude, I'm purpose. sure that makes them like that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. It's, it's like it's it's like, my, like I said, my wife thinks I'm stupid because she's like she's always had like these huge monsters, and I'd like to keep them small. It just it just it's they're more manageable, right. they're less susceptible to all those weird diseases, you know. It, it, well, like, and from what the public values, which is pretty looking flower. Yeah. Right. Oh, gorgeous. I mean, that's what I'm saying. The development on our on you know, our, you know, our calyxes or trichomes, like they're just. Hand over hand over fist, but what? Is the word I keep on looking for? Hand over fist, head over heels, hand over fist, hand over anyway, fist, or hand over fist, and you know leaps and bounds. Yeah, yeah. You know leaps and bounds here. ahead of, of, of you know leaps and bounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, leaps leaps and bounds ahead of the larger stuff that right. I see. You know, so I'm 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 stoked. I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't get the weight that everyone else does, but whatever. No, you know, it's yeah, like I get, the, I, get, I, get, I get some good looking flower and I got the love. So. Yeah, dude. And, so, and, and like I said, yeah, some it resonates of those 12 through every came individual up. person and, and, that and, and, comes across and that. From way. a testing standpoint, have you seen sort of any evidence of terpene expression the way he's doing it versus the giant? Oh, plants? yeah. Well, no, I mean, I mean, as far as like also, you know, that how what you're doing in just in general from a testing standpoint, it helps a lot more with. Uh, um, you know, consistency from like, uh, you know, like even like standardization, you know, because it's like if you have a huge plant that's never pruned, you know, you, you know, and you test test a bud that's in the lower middle, whatever, and then a certain bud that's up top with getting tons of light, you know, you could see a massive fluctuation, you know, maybe five, seven percent cannabinoids, what have you, this and that. And so, you know, but, but when you see plants that are, you know, that are pruned better and kind of, you know, like, you know, the sun exposure is you kind of distributed a lot more evenly throughout the plant, you know, because they're grown, you know, in smaller ways and pruned more properly. You know, yeah, you see, like, you see the, the fluctuation um, all of a sudden kind of really narrow in. Like, so the standard deviation of one bud to the next, like, might only vary, like, you know, within, like, you know, 5 10% of itself or whatever. So it's, so it's like if it was, like, 18%, it might test, you know, 16 or or like 17 or 19 you know but it's like you see a lot more homogeneity uh created from you know consistency or standardization i guess from bud to bud